Put your fingers in the batter. Mud works, make a mess, it doesn't matter. Mud works. Fix it, mix it, round and round. Use your imagination, turn it upside down. Splash it, squash it, squish it if you can. When you are done exploring, stop and think how all this fun began. Put your fingers in the glue now. Mud works, there is so much to do now. Mud works, for what you make is always satisfactory. At the Mud Works Factory, Mud Works. And here we are at the Mudworks factory. I'm here with Mary Ann Cole, and she's going to show us how to make scribble cookies. These scribble cookies come from her book called Scribble Cookies. Mary Ann, how do you make scribble cookies? Scribble cookies are the answer to every child's old crayons. All you need are the things from the bottom of your crayon box, and you take the paper off. These are just leftover crayons? Leftover crayons. And any kind of muffin pan works, and the kids just fill up the muffin pan with old stub crayons. Take the paper off. Take the paper off. And you melt them in the oven on a low temperature. And this might be a part where mom or grandma, somebody should keep an eye on things. Mm -hmm. They're in for just a few seconds. Bring them out. And when they come out, they look like this. Oh. And they just pop right out of the muffin pan. And you have a little crayon to color with, shaped like so a muffin. So you've made a tiny little, mm -hmm. that's the cookie. That's the scribble cookie. Little round cookie mm -hmm. made out of crayons, but and not to eat. Not to eat, no. and certainly uh, the best thing you can do with a crayon is to color, and that's exactly what these are for. One idea is to cut out little shapes out of cardboard, and that's what I've done. You can put a piece of paper over that shape, mm -hmm. and taking your scribble cookie, you just rub over the shape, oh, and there it is. And there's the star. If you'd like your star to, star to be a shooting star, just move it around a little, and get look that look says it's that. moving across the paper. This scribble cookie's been broken, but uh, you never know what color is coming up next because they've been mixed mm -hmm. in the muffin pan. So it's a surprise. It's always a surprise. And this one has a lot of pretty purples. Mm -hmm. Another one would have greens and reds. You never know what will come up next. Another fun thing you can do is to make a giant scribble cookie. You can make them in a, a cake pan or a pie pan. This is made in a little pie pan. And when it comes out, this one has uh, been broken on purpose, so you can have lots of colors. But uh, there's a larger size script. So you can take the crayons, make a great big one. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice if your hands were small and you wanted to get your hands around a great big cookie and just. And it's just fun calling them cookies. That's right. But again, you like they're you really said, muffins. no eating scribble muffins. muffins. You can <laughs> call them anything you like. Um, another thing that's uh, really works well is when you've made your scribble cookie and it's melted. If you'd like to get to work really fast, mm -hmm. put it in the freezer. And it uh, freezes solid in about oh, just a few minutes, and you can get right to work. Otherwise, you have to wait a little while if you let it cool a normal way. So just it'll sit on the counter uh -huh. for an hour? It, it might take half an hour, I suppose. But in the freezer, it's just a few minutes. Wonderful yeah. idea. Scribble cookies. Scribble. And you make them out of your old crayons. Or scribble muffins, whatever you like. Or scribble muffins. Like. Wonderful. <laughs> I wonder if Marvin is ready at the post office. Let's